I just built a simple N8N automation to generate viral Yeti blogger videos like this channel with hundreds of thousands of followers that's getting tens of millions of views. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to build it in under 10 minutes. Check this out. Hey everyone, check out this magical sunset. And it's the perfect end to a beach day of adventures. <sighs> yeah, that sigh at the end kills me though. All right, so let me show you exactly how this system works. So Google just launched their VO3 model and basically the video quality is absolutely incredible. And you can use this platform called Fal AI to generate videos straight from N8N and automate the entire process. So it literally just happens for you. So basically what you wanna do is come over to Fal AI and create an account. And then if you come up to your account over here and you can go into API keys and you can create your own API key to use with N8N. So I'm gonna go ahead and click run once on this workflow and I'm gonna show you what's happening. So basically right here, the Yeti prompt generator is generating the perfect prompt for you. I literally took these guidelines, mastering video generation with VO, and this is for VO2, but the same rules apply for VO3. Basically exactly how to prompt this to get the best possible results with the subject, the context, the action, the style, the camera motion, et cetera, et cetera, right? So to get these really high quality videos. And so from here, we're creating the video using Fal AI. We're waiting a couple of minutes and then we're checking the status of the video to see if it's completed. And if it's done, we're basically saving that video to Google Drive. The process is legitimately super, super simple. So let me walk you through this real quick. So the magic is happening all here in the Yeti blogger prompt generator. And basically the only prompt I use for the user is generate a Yeti blogger prompt. If you wanted, you can come in here and say like, make the Yeti walking on the beach, make the Yeti walking through the forest, like tell them what you want to talk about. But basically the system prompt is where we took all of those VO best practices and combined them into a single system prompt, like totally optimized to make Yeti style videos. So this says you are a specialized AI assistant that generates video prompts for VO3. Your sole purpose is to create detailed, effective prompts that will generate eight second videos featuring a Yeti blogger creating selfie style content. And then here are some core identity and rules like critical requirements. The subject is always a Yeti blogger. He's friendly, he's charismatic, his fluffy white fur. The Yeti is always walking while talking. I found this was important because sometimes the Yeti was kind of just standing there talking to the camera, but it actually helps sell it if he's actually moving while talking. The perspective is always from the camera or the phone point of view, right? We want to make sure this is like selfie style video. And the Yeti is always filming themselves with an iPhone, GoPro, or selfie stick. Uh, but these aren't visible, right? So there's some more rules here. The prompt structure, which is specifically for VO3. We need the subject, the context, what the Yeti is doing, the film style, keywords, et cetera, et cetera. Here are some settings to use. Like where, where can we place the Yeti? Do we want them in a snowy mountain? Do we want them on city streets? Are they on the beach? Are they in the desert, right? Where should we put this Yeti, right? And some topics the Yeti can actually be talking about because Google not only creates like the image for it, but it actually creates the text and has the Yeti like saying exactly what she wanted to say. Like, honestly, it's incredible. Some information about the dialogue, some technical specifications about the camera work and things like that. So there's really a lot here that goes into this prompt to make sure that it's hyper realistic and super optimized for this kind of like viral blogger style format that we got going on right now. And then I just gave us some example prompts, right? Like a charismatic Yeti blogger with photorealistic fluffy white fur and natural expressive eyes walks along a snowy mountain trail with breathtaking alpine vista behind him. The Yeti gestures excitedly towards the landscape while walking and speaks directly to the camera saying, guys, you won't believe the view from up here. This hidden peak is absolutely incredible and totally worth the climb. So these are super, super fun for cooking and food, for tech review. So there's some things to consider. So this prompt is super, super clutch. If you want to get access to this Yeti automation, along with all my other workflows, hop into the school community where I teach you how to turn your automation skills into $5,000 months in 90 days. I have an entire resource library with all of my N8N workflows and a six month program that teaches you how to build your personal brand and establish yourself as an authority in your niche. So let's come in here and let's see the prompt that this generated. A friendly Yeti blogger with fluffy photorealistic white fur and warm expressive eyes strolls along a picturesque snowy mountain path lined with towering pine trees and sparkling icicles. As they walk, the Yeti turns slightly towards the camera, smiling brightly and says, hey everyone, just hiked up here and the view is absolutely breathtaking. You have to see this place. Super cool. So basically what happens next is we sent this off to Fal AI and we're just using an HTTP request in the post method. And the URL here is q.fal.run slash fal AI slash VO3. And then there's a couple of parameters that I'm sending off, which is basically the prompt. I literally just dragged and dropped the prompt from the chat GPT module before. And then I give it the aspect ratio. I'm using nine by 16, which is the vertical video format. If you look, you can also use 16 by nine, which is like widescreen. Or if you come in here, you can also use one to one, which is just like the square ratio, which is popular on Instagram. 
I'm using generate audio true because I want to make sure I generate the audio and then enhance prompt. I'm also setting to true because that way VO3 is actually going to help me craft the perfect prompt for this. After that, we just wait two minutes. And then once we're done waiting two minutes, just to let the video process, we're checking the status to see if basically we have, uh, you know, this status here is either in progress if it's still kind of rendering or it goes to completed once it's finished. You can see here it says completed. So this is kind of like a little pro hack that I like to use is basically we check the status and I'm just checking it every two minutes and I'm using an if node here and I'm just dragging in the status. And if the status is equal to completed, it's going to pass it through so we can actually download the video. But if the status is still in progress, it's just going to loop back to this wait function and it's just going to wait for another two minutes and then check the status again. And so this way you can make sure that you're checking every minute or two minutes. And so you're not actually wasting any time like waiting for your video to be done. Like as soon as it's done, it's going to grab it and move it on. But if it's not done, it's just going to wait a little bit longer to make sure it actually finishes processing. Then we're just using another simple request to foul basically with the ID of the video coming from the request ID here just to get the video video so that we can go ahead and download it. Then I'm downloading the video using the most basic request here, literally just dragging in the URL of the video here so we can download it in a format that we can then upload to Google Drive. And so if we come into my Google Drive account, we can see here we have a brand new video ready to go. And I'm just going to go ahead and open this up. Hey, everyone just hiked up here. And the view is absolutely breathtaking. You have to see this place. So it's pretty awesome. Like if you listen closely, I'm not sure if you can hear the audio, but you can actually hear the footsteps. Hey, everyone. Hey, everyone. Just hiked up here and the view is absolutely breathtaking. You have to see this place. Honestly, it's pretty incredible. So this is really fun. I'll leave a link in the description where you can hop into the community to get access to this workflow and then check out this video up here where I teach you how to use N8N to create viral YouTube content. I'll see you over there.